Watch his next move. Is it going to be another move by Tor Husov? He's in the best position. Well, two Norwegians, you know, they won't like to beat one another because they are from Norway, a country that doesn't have many top cyclists. Uh, but they're going to have to attack each other now. Tor Husov's in the best position for sure. Boysenhagen knows all about him. Uh, they're on the opposing teams, and uh, Hezjedal is the man who's being left. I think he'll open up the sprinting Hezjedal, and I hope Bosenhagen will have to chase him. Well, he's going to have to lead the sprint out for Ryder Hezjedal, the Canadian now. He's going to have to play the team man. Uh, his teammate, Tor Hussop, is the faster of the two. But the question mark is, has Tor Hussop still got that power left in his legs to beat the youngster? Well, Hezjedal now starts opening up the sprint. We will find out now. Bosenhagen won in Ligier, Hussop won in Lourdes in this year's Tour de France. A rider Hedge has never won a stage, and Boysenhagen is going to wait to the last minute to go for the rider in front. He'll have to because Hushoff will come off his wheel and he won't count to the movement. Well, he's gone, he's, and that wasn't expected by Boysenhagen. That was a terrific move by Hushoff. Again, the tactics of the man. Now, has he got the legs to do it? Yes, he has. And Boysenhagen was not ready for the jump. Phil, you said it earlier on in the commentary, he is a great tactician when it comes down to moving away from a breakaway group like this. Fourth place is going to go to Tony Martin. Cadell Evans is gaining real time as he takes the roundabout here in Gap. Now lines up at 800 metres to go. And then the clock will start. One thing is for sure now, Cadell Evans has climbed to second overall on the first day in the Alps today. Well, he's uh, thrown down the gauntlet as well himself to Alberto Conte, saying, uh, come on, Alberto, if you think that I'm going to take this one lying down, I'm going to attack every possibility that I have through these alpine stages. He knows it's important. The camera there being a foreshortening a little bit the distance between him and the chasers. Sammy Sanchez giving a serious hand here to Alberto Contador. He said that if the situation happened and he could help Contador, although they're on different teams, they both come from the same country. The average speed of the stage, 46 kilometres an hour. These boys have flown into the Alps today. And Cadell Evans has answered all the attacks and now clearly had a plan of his own. We'll watch the clock after he hits the line here to see just how much time he gains. He, but they're coming back slowly but surely. Little rise up to the line. Determined efforts. Every second looks like it's going to count in this year's Tour de France. They are trying desperately to get him at the same time as Evans. They won't quite do that. Paul Sherwin's got them at five seconds behind. Yeah, next man to come in, Thomas Bokler. He's not going to lie down either. The big battle, and these are the guys who are second and third in the standings for the green jersey competition. The big acceleration coming from Rojas. He won't get too many points on today's stage, but every point's going to count for him as Philippe Gilbert comes across him. And Gilbert takes him on there too, even for the minor placings. And in comes the Mayo Jaune.